Hey everyone. Hey guys, welcome to Obscure MCU. In this episode, I'll be detailing the powers and abilities of Monica Rambo, then placing her on a tier list according to your votes. Monica Rambo was the daughter of Captain Marvel's best friend Maria. Monica Rambo's formative years were deeply influenced by her childhood experience with Carol Danvers. When Carol resurfaced with extraordinary abilities after a six-year reported disappearance, witnessing Carol's transformation inspired Monica's mother, Maria, to create S.W.O.R.D., an organization dedicated to protecting Earth from cosmic threats. Following in her mother's footsteps, eventually joined S.W.O.R.D. herself, embarking on a path intertwined with intergalactic adventures and unforeseen challenges. Monica Rambo's life took a dramatic turn when she found herself entangled in a supernatural crisis in the town of Westview. While there, she played a pivotal role in aiding the townsfolk trapped within the hex forged by Wanda Maximoff. In her attempts to breach the barrier surrounding Westview, Monica's cells underwent multiple transformations, rewriting her DNA and granting her extraordinary superhuman abilities. These abilities included Intangibility Which allows her to pass through solid objects effortlessly. When faced with physical obstacles or enemy attacks, Monica can phase through them seamlessly, rendering herself immune to harm. This extraordinary skill grants her unparalleled agility and evasion capabilities, enabling her to maneuver swiftly in combat situations and navigate through dangerous environments with ease. She also had the power of electromagnetic spectrum manipulation, granting her control over various forms of energy across the electromagnetic spectrum. With this power, Monica can manipulate and generate electromagnetic fields, manipulate light and radiation, and even control electricity and magnetism. This versatile skill set allows her to harness different types of energy for a variety of purposes, including offensive attacks, defensive shields, and sensory enhancements. Additionally, she was capable of energy absorption, allowing her to absorb and assimilate various forms of energy. When faced with energy-based attacks or environmental hazards, Monica can absorb the incoming energy, rendering herself temporarily invulnerable to harm. This absorption process not only protects Monica from harm but also empowers her, as she can utilize the absorbed energy to enhance her own abilities or unleash powerful energy-based attacks against her foes. Monica was also able to fly, stemming from her profound connection to energy manipulation. Through her ability to absorb and harness various forms of energy, Monica can generate powerful electromagnetic fields around her body. By channeling this energy in a controlled manner, she can create a propulsion effect, essentially levitating herself off the ground and achieving sustained flight. This process involves the conversion of absorbed energy into kinetic energy, which propels Monica through the air with remarkable speed and agility. Through precise manipulation of electromagnetic forces, Monica can navigate through three-dimensional space with unparalleled maneuverability, soaring through the skies with grace and precision. And finally, though there's not a specific name for this ability, Monica possesses the extraordinary ability to transform into a radiant energy being, transcending her physical form and accessing unparalleled levels of power. In this energy form, Monica's abilities are greatly enhanced, granting her incredible strength, speed, and agility. Additionally, she gains the capacity to project massive amounts of energy, capable of unleashing devastating attacks. This transformation also augments Monica's perception and awareness, allowing her to perceive and interact with energy fields on a cosmic scale. One of the most remarkable aspects of Monica's energy form is her ability to manipulate space-time, enabling her to close rifts and stabilize dimensional anomalies. With her newfound powers in this energy state, Monica becomes an unstoppable force,
However, she's only done this once and was immediately knocked out from performing such a feat, resulting in her getting stuck in a parallel universe. With all of these abilities in mind, and the consideration of your votes, I would place Monica in third spot of the most powerful tier. Though her powers are great, they are still relatively new to her and she has not yet perfected these abilities and skills. With more training and added experience against foes, she may easily become one of the most powerful heroes in the MCU. And now that she's at Charles Xavier's school for gifted mutants, when we see her next, she may easily rise a few spots on the list. But what do you think? And where would you rank her on the tier list? Let me know your thoughts in the comments, and be sure to vote in my next poll, as the results will influence the next character's placement on the list. Please like and subscribe for more videos coming soon. Thanks for watching.